Well, welcome back, everyone. My name is Kronos006, back with another Lunar Let's Play adventure. Welcome to Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. This is the sequel to 999, Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, released three years after the original. Due to incredibly unexpected critical success uh, from the first game, uh, Kitaro Ichikoshi, I believe, was the one who wrote the first one, and I believe he also wrote the second script in this game. Now, as much as I gave a ton of praise to the first game, this is a rare situation that you see in gaming and film and all that, where if you ask me, the sequel is actually better than the first. Now, <laughs> if you listened to me gush about the first one before, you would think, how is that possible? Well, you'll see. <laughs> you will see. Once again, it's going to try to interrupt me with the intro here. Come on, shut up. All right, just for fun, I'll take a look at the options. Nope, same thing. So, for those sticklers, you can do the original Japanese. I'm not going to do that. Sorry. I'm not that kind of... I'm just not that person that demands that all Japanese things have the original Japanese voices. I know some who do, but I am not. Anyway, so this game, in my opinion, perfects what the first game was basically trying to do. Now, remember what I talked to you guys about in the... For those of you who have watched my first one, if you haven't, I highly recommend you go back and watch it. Now, you do not have to in order to understand this one. This is not like Danganronpa 2 where there are, well, there are some. <laughs> there are some unforgivable spoilers if you have not played, nor have you seen the first uh, 999, 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Doors. Now, this game really cemented the fact that this was going to be a trilogy, and the trilogy excuse me, the trilogy was entitled Zero Escape. Now, this game, sadly, was a flop in Japan. It was actually did very well in North America, and North America is the entire reason that there is a third game in the series, known as Zero Time Dilemma. I will be playing Zero Time Dilemma for the channel. But I have serious problems with it. It's okay. It's not terrible. It's worth playing. And it kind of wraps up the series, sort of. But I have serious problems with it. Anyway, this one I have very few problems with. I love this game. It's more of the same. <laughs> it's going to be the story. It's going to be choices affecting your ending. It's going to be... Oh, I think it's going to be awesome. But if the last one wasn't your cup of tea, you may not like this one too much, or maybe you will. Who knows? But in the meanwhile, guys, let's sit back. Oh, yeah. So 2012 is when this came out. Sorry. Sit back and enjoy, guys. Let's play Virtue's Last Reward. We nine years in the future, yo. Oh, and there are actually a lot more voices in this one, guys. Although maybe they made the original about the same. So in the in the Nintendo DS version of the original game, there were no voices. Uh, this one does have voices. And I feel like the voice acting in the first one, while okay, I feel like they did a lot better in this one. So let's go. Ow, 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 ow! Damn it! Feels like my head's gonna explode. Where the hell am I? Looks like an elevator, but... Isn't that obvious? Hello! Whoa! A female version of Santa? Who the hell are you? Um, hello? Right. Okay. Let's try a different tack here. Where the hell are we? Also, while we're at it, why? 
No response? You always this friendly, or did I kick you while I was sleeping? Damn. No luck there either, huh? I'm plenty friendly. What? I said I'm plenty friendly. I said if the soup weren't poisoned, I might have had some. Hey, looks like you can talk after all. So, let's try this again. Where are we? Don't know. Hmm. Well, could be worse, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at something else. I don't know this for a fact. For someone who has played the DS version, if you could tell me, that'd be cool. I don't think this locket here was in the original version. Now, I'm not going to say what that locket represents or who that locket represents, but I don't believe that was here. I could be totally wrong and I could just be forgetting. It's been a long time since I played this, guys, so. For me, it's, I mean, I know the main story, I know the big events, but a lot of it's gonna be kinda blind, semi-blind, I would say. Anyway, oh, I'm so excited to play this, let's go. Right, back to the first question, then. Who are you? By which I mean, what's your name? Sigma. No, that's my name. Cute. That's my name. I'm asking you what... How did you know his name? I haven't met you before, have I? No, you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But... But what? How could you know my name if you don't have any idea who I am? How the hell am I supposed to know? I just know it, okay? Hey. No need to bite my head off. It's just, you're not really making sense here. And you still haven't told me who you are. Shut up! Just back off, Grandpa. Grandpa? Look, I just don't know, alright? It's just kind of... there. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said... That's Sigma. Hold on a second. What do you think this thing is? Huh? This bracelet? See, you've got one, too. They're pretty much identical. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Where'd they come from? It was on already when I woke up. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, though. Oh, those look familiar, don't they? Doesn't seem like it's a watch, does it? Truth had gone, and truth had gone, and truth had gone. Or no, wait, truth had gone, and truth had gone, and truth had gone. <laughs> no. It's just got a three and the word pair. <laughs> God. What are you doing? Trying to get it off. Please, Sigma, there are ladies present. Good luck. I spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. <laughs> I bet you did. It's on pretty tight. Doesn't even have a clasp or anything. What about these buttons on the sides? I pressed them, but nothing happened. <laughs> Not even a beep. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Something interesting about the graphics here, guys, that you're probably noticing is that, if you recall, the original version of this game was the Nintendo 3DS that it was played on. 
So, some of the graphics look a little wonky, but for the most part, they did a really good job of converting everything on to HD. I'm very impressed. I'll be honest, these graphics look really nice, especially compared to the first one. Anyway. Damn it! What the hell is going on here? Somebody better start explaining, or... Hey, look. What? What? There's something on that screen over there. Wait. What? How are you feeling? It's a bunny. I am Zero the Third, the king of this kingdom! The third? Who's the second? What the hell is that? A rat? Uh, no. Pretty sure it's a rabbit. I'm sure you've got lots of questions! I do! Game? Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it... Hello, Sigma. I want to play a game. The Nunnery Game! How original. Epidex Edition! Okay. That's a little bit more original. I guess. Anybody tell me what it's wearing? I don't know Japanese culture super, super well. This looks like a traditional kind of, you know, kingly wear, for lack of a better term. There's more to it! Lots more! But if I told you now, that'd be cheating. So, hurry up and get out! I'll be waiting! Hey, hold on! Who the hell- uh, Alright, I forgot to tell you the most important thing. This elevator you're in? It's gonna fall in a few minutes. Oh, that's nice to know. Now. Fall? Yes, indeed. So you better get moving. I'll see you later. Have a nice trip. Yeah, yeah, see you next fall. That joke wasn't any funnier in elementary school. Oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? Don't tell me you're impressed. Oh, for the love of... Damn it. Damn it! God damn it! This is bullshit! This stupid rabbit didn't tell us anything. How are we even supposed to get out of here? Well, I guess whining about it isn't going to help anybody. We won't be able to get any answers if we can't get out of here. You with me? Come on, just nod or something. I don't want to die here any more than you. Let's go. Alright. Back to action. The game consists of two sections, the escape portion and the novel portion. The goal of the escape portion is to escape from whatever room you're in, hence the name. I love the sense of humor in these games, by the way, and they really upped the pop culture references in this one. <laughs> the little geeky, nerdy references that I love. Anyway, first, click anything on the screen that catches your attention. You can change the camera angle by dragging the cursor across the screen. Uh... I can... Oh, oh, yeah, it's just... Okay, I have to click and hold. Okay. It's relatively easy. Well, this definitely pops out at me, by the way. When you see the word zoom in cyan in the top right corner of your screen, the game is in zoom mode. To return to your normal view from zoom mode, press the escape key, drag downward, or click the cyan triangle at the bottom of the screen. So, why are these colored like this? Oh, hey, this end is loose. Aha! It's a socket wrench, I think. Can I examine? Yes. Probably the handle for some kind of tool. The grip is blue. Okay. The screen that's just appeared is called the item screen. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can inspect items you've found and combine or hold them. 
To access the item screen during an escape, click the item icon, which you can find in the top left corner of the screen. Item icon will show whatever item you are currently holding. So I noticed that there's now not a um, little border that sort of highlights it when you click on it. I kind of like that better. That way uh, you can't tell if you're looking at something you need or not. If you need help with the controls, click the menu button, arch or archive button, that's going to be important. Click the little help tab, blah blah blah. Fire extinguisher, directions, take the key, no, remove the key, put the key in the lock, and turn it. Pretty self-explanatory. These look like instructions for using a fire extinguisher. Sure, it's locked. Of course. Is it locked? I have to say, I'm curious about this. What the hell is this stupid thing? It's huge. Sigma, you got a dirtier mouth than Junpei, don't you? No, it's not an ATM. Then, do you think the safe down here is stuffed with cash? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it doesn't really matter right now. You can't get out and you're about to die. <laughs> like, I don't know. Getting the hell out of here? Yeah, those look like SD card slots. Maybe. Well, let's at least look at it. I know I don't know the code. Yeah. I wonder what's inside. Well, what do you think it could be? What the hell's so important about a cracker? A, a what? What does that even mean? Each escape room has a safe somewhere. These safes have two passwords. One for escaping, and one for a hidden file. Oh, that's new. When you open the safe using the escape password, you'll get a key that will allow you to leave the room you're in. If you open the safe with a hidden file password in hard mode, you'll get a gold file. If you do the same in easy mode, you'll get a silver file instead. The gold and silver files contain supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth, but are not necessary for escaping. In order to escape and continue the game, you must open the safe with the escape password. So here we have things that are a little bit different, and some nice additions, if you ask me, to the game. So, like it was saying, you have to input a password to successfully leave an escape room, right? So let's try. Is this it? No, it is not. Okay. Just a random guess. Probably wasn't going to do it, but anyway. Another thing that I like about this is you have the memo mode, where you can literally go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. La la la. And you can easily erase it. You can make notes on the screen, and with the stylus, with the Nintendo DS, that was really nice. <laughs> Brain memory. That was really nice. I liked that. You actually have two pages worth of notes you can do on pretty much each puzzle. And you can use different colors. So that's cool, too. Now, before any more ado... Damn, no luck. You're right. Now, before we do anything else, I would actually... First, I'll save. Well, before I do that... No, I don't. I just want to return. There we go. I am actually on hard mode. Okay. It starts me on hard mode. So you guys will remember the flowchart. And like I said, this is the first game in the original DS mode. 
in the original DS that actually allowed for the flowchart. Now, we're not going to look at it yet because I don't want to give anything away. But of course, it's not very filled out. When we reach our first ending, oh, and by the way, there are about 30 endings. <laughs> When we reach our first ending, I will show you guys the flowchart. But anyway, let's save. Now you start, and as you'll see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, of course. There are nine endings. You will notice that there are nine endings out of, I think, 30 total. So there are, like, another 21 bad ends, so to speak. But there are nine actual endings that are important for the story. But yeah, so you start in hard mode. If you're struggling with a room, you can switch to easy mode. But of course, it will cost you. You will not get the, the extra story depth. I wonder if I can just force it open. Damn, no good. Stupid thing won't even budge. Fucking thing sucks! Hmm. Oh, got another one of these things. Looks exactly the same. Yep, another one here. <laughs> okay, I think I get what I have to do with these. And here's the last one. I feel like the puzzles were a lot harder in uh, this one and the third one especially compared to the first one, but remember I was talking, guys, about how I feel like they dumbed down some of the puzzles in the remake that I'm playing here that I got from Steam. I believe you can get, you can get this and 999 in one download. I believe it's 20 bucks, something like that, but it's it's worth it, guys. This is this is such a fun experience. It really is. All right, so now I've got all my tools so I can easily get rid of all these different shaped screws. I'm going to remove the screws. Bolts, whatever. Oh, am I missing... Ah, yeah, I am missing the tool. Okay, my bad. What's this? There's a little panel here with a keyhole. The opening in the center is covered with transparent plastic. Yes, thank you. Some kind of display. There's nothing on it right now. Huh? Why'd it light up? It didn't do anything earlier. Hmm. I bet I know what I have to do. I bet I have to have it equal nine, or be the digital root of nine. Let's see. Three. No. Let's see. Four. Oh, I can only do one at a time. Okay. Well, nope, there's obviously another <laughs> slot here. What's the deal with this slit? They're the same thing! What does it matter what we call it? It's a hole to put cards into. Oh, that's a good point. It's a rabbit. During an escape, you are given the opportunity to switch difficulty levels. This is what I was talking about. If you get stuck, you can switch the difficulty level to easy by opening the menu and clicking the difficulty button. In easy mode, the other characters will give you more hints. However, once you switch the difficulty to easy, you can't switch it back to hard until you've finished that escape. When you start over in a particular escape or enter it for the first time, the difficulty level is automatically set to hard. See, I really think that's cool. Like, it lets you get through the game, even if you need help, but if you don't do it on hard mode, you'll just miss out on certain things about the game. And I think that's, I think that's cool. I think that's a great way to handle that kind of adventure game and puzzle game that this is. Anyway, here's our key. You'll find two types of items in the game. Hints in item form, and items you can use in some way. In order to use an item, click whatever you want to use on it or it on while holding the item. Whatever item is in the front on the item screen, blah blah blah. Picture of it will also appear in the item icon. Very good. See, there it is. And let's 
Let's use this over here. Alright, let's see if this pin can open the lock. Excellent. And there they are. Okay. Polyurethane packaging. Each one is a different shape, though. Well, we might as well take them. Alright, so here's where we learn the combine function. See, and I love games, I absolutely love games that teach you by you have to do it. You know, they you have to actually have to play through the game and experience the game in order to learn how the game works. I love it when they integrate tutorials in with the game seamlessly. I'm not necessarily talking about all of a sudden break the fourth wall, box shows up that says in order to jump, press X. You know, you have to kind of figure it out on your own. I love it when games do that well. This game does it okay. Alright, so the triangle is yellow. Let's combine. Triangular tip. Okay. Square is blue. I'm gonna combine with the square tip. There we go. Pentagonal tip. Boy, this is so smooth. I love it. The HD integration, and they've really, like, 60 frames, basically, I think. Got that done. And then the red is a hexagon. Combine it with the hexagonal tip. All right, we're ready to go. Let's do it. Excellent. That's the red bolt gone. And the triangle. All right, let's just give this yellow one a twist. No, I know, I'm clicking on this. All right, that's the green bolt off. Oh, hush. Right, so I've got all the bolts off now. Ready? I'm gonna open it. Okay, okay. Jeez. Oh boy, a puzzle. <laughs> there are a number of mini games you will play during an escape. No kidding. Controls and rules will generally be given to you before a mini game begins, but some start without giving you detailed instructions. If you can't solve a mini game, just quit by clicking the back button in the bottom right corner of the mini game screen. If you keep trying, though, the other characters might start to give you hints. They'll only do this when you're playing in easy mode, though. So remember, if you get stuck on a minigame, give it several tries before you switch the difficulty to easy. What's this? Do you think we're supposed to solve this? Alright, I'm on it. You need to move the green block from the top left to the blue square on the bottom right. You can move the green and red blocks up and down, as well as sideways, by clicking and dragging the mouse, or using arrow keys. Okay, so this looks pretty. Ah... Uh, I see. Hmm, okay. I can already see kind of how I need to do this. That's clever. I love the puzzles in this game. Like, they really, really, really are clever. I think I got it! Yeah! No. Actually, yes, I do. No, I don't, actually. Wow. Nope, there we go, I got it. Like that, and like that! Huzzah! Now, notice they didn't track my number of moves, so <laughs> I may not have been the most efficient there. But, this is just a warm-up. Sweet. I did it. You're pretty good. <laughs> this kid stuff. You can do it with my eyes closed. Yep, we have something here. 
Is this a memory card? Aha! AB stands for ambidextrous. Yeah, I got it from the maze. Okay. So, that of course goes in the green slot. I've got a green memory card in my hand. Let's see what happens when I put it in. Hey, it turned on! Screen glows with a strange light. Okay, so that really didn't do much for me. What do you think this means? Some things you come across and collect won't be stored with the rest of your items. Instead, they'll be put in the file. To look at and review them, just click the archive button in the menu and then navigate to the tab called File. Alright, let's take a look at this. The more you know. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a manual. That's interesting. <laughs> Help, I'm investigating this stuff and I don't know what to do next. No problem, just click the difficulty button on the right end of the menu bar and change the difficulty to easy. This will cause the characters accompanying you to give you more, more detailed hints. Hooray! <laughs> okay, so it's just telling- whoops, sorry. So it's just telling me everything I already know. This is just basic help. Okay, this is help. Go through that. Okay. So I just want to... I'm a completionist, guys. I have to, like, click on everything. Ooh, that's a lot of secrets. I am such a completionist when it comes to this, guys. <laughs> I love this stuff. Try counting the number of babies and old people. Whoa, that didn't come out well. <laughs> Life would be infinitely happier if we could only be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18. That's probably a quote from the book that was Benjamin Button. The number of babies and the number of old people. Okay, one, two, two who, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It looks like 10 to me. Let me. Try it again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm, I'm missing up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the number of babies are one, two, three, four. Okay, so old people are seven and babies are four. Right? Oh, okay, so I just have to put the number. That's easy. That's not very polite. You should just call them old men or old women or something. Yep, the poster. So, seven. Some of the jokes are kind of stupid. <laughs> I probably just won't acknowledge those. But a lot of them are really good and clever. Trust me. Alright, so four. That didn't really do anything. Did I screw up? Let me look here. One, two, three, four. That can't be wrong. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I miscounted. One, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. That is correct. There's nothing wrong with that. Is there nothing else in here? OK. 
Okay. Oh, that's zero. Ash quick zero. There it is. <laughs> yes, I did. I see this. Okay, we got our second. We got our blue card. Let's put it in. I've got a blue memory card in my hand. Let's see what happens when I put it in. What the heck is this? Yep, that would be a password. I think I can handle it. <laughs> I'm always remembering shit! <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing this is for the escape, and this is probably for the secret file. Okay, so this should be easy to remember. Star of David, Sun, Moon. Yes, 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 come on. Nope, I messed up. There we go! Ah! That's it. Piece of cake. Is this a key? No, actually, I want to find the red one. So, how do I do that? I haven't received many clues. Hardly any clues, in fact. Hmm. Well, I knew they were going to make it tough. Whoa! It was zero the third, so I just tried three. <laughs> Is this it? Did I get the secret one? Yes! Haha! -ha. Notice this one is blue. We got a sun and two moons. I can remember that. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Ha-ha! Gold file, baby. Bingo. That's odd. It opened with this password, too. Yeah, you're right. You see the little rotator here? It can actually rotate. That's cool. Falls back. <laughs> so, if you put in a different password, you get different stuff. see what's inside, visit the archive and navigate to the red secret tab. Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> 